So today I thought we would do a super fun video. So first of all, these are my pajama wear. I'm just being real right now. They were gifted from my grandmother. <laughs> it's so cold in my apartment. So, and it's actually like pretty cold for Texas, which like never happens, but the light is escaping me. Um, so I wanted to show you guys everything that I've recently collected from the thrift store. I'm just like in my Devin Lee Carlson era. Sometimes, you know, like sometimes you wake up and you're just like, oh, let's just like throw things together. And I have this like look in my head and I think it'll feel, like look so cool. And then I'm gonna style what I'm gonna wear today at the very end as well. So hopefully I can do this all within like a few minutes. First pieces that I'm gonna style today is this little dress. Um, I think I might have to eventually switch on my phone. So do not hate me because like my, my camera's dying. I didn't charge it enough. Okay, let's style this. All right, so I'm filming on my phone while like my laptop, sorry, my camera charges. So I did this in a TikTok and I talked about how I'm like basically naked in this, but it's really cute. And I, I also said that maybe I could turn it into a, um, whoops, I could turn it into a skirt, but I could also try to accessorize this. So here's the thing about this, like, I did talk about how it's like sheer underneath. So like for sure this would have to be a summertime look. I mean, it's like, it's still really cute. I'm just trying to think of like, what's the best way for me to wear it where it'll look cute. I'm trying to avoid altering it, you know? And it's already actually really short. This is cute too though. Like with like some kind of like long boots, like I feel like this would be such like rock star's girlfriend. And like, maybe if we did like black or something, we could do, like tell me this is not giving Devin. And also I fixed this last time so it didn't look as baggy on me. So like something like that. Tell me this is not giving Devin. Like, and if you tell me that it's not, like I guess it's like my own take on like Devin. If you tell me it's not like you're lying. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay, so here's that. And like, maybe I would put something on, on underneath. I don't know, what do you guys think? I think it's really cute. I'll have to figure something out about this. Maybe what I could do is like wear some kind of a skirt underneath or something. I'm not sure. But I do think that this would be great for the summertime. These are like the details, right? So this is, I'm just like pushing this back, but um, bag is thrifted. Actually my sister's, this is something that I got. Like we can find this like anywhere online, honestly, like a gold chain. And then this is a, a thrifted, slip that I was like I got gifted from my cousin which is so cute next thing that I picked up I was like debating about wearing this today and it's like actually really cold in San Antonio so it's just this like uh it's a tan kind of like 70s like sweater it reminds me of the 70s uh sweater dress and it's actually gold like it has like little gold flecks like metallic flecks um I'm gonna try this on for you guys and then I'm gonna style it so this is the dress in all of its glory. <laughs> um, it has like really long strings. So what I like to do is just pull this down a little, um, tie this. Honestly, like I love doing ballet stuff. I actually have like an injury that I'm trying to recover from. Um, it's nothing too bad or anything. I just like feel like a lot of pain and it's been going away, but that's why I've taken a break from any like hard workouts. Um, so anyway, I, I also like wanted to do more fashion content on all of my accounts. So you know what I was thinking? Okay, so also we're gonna start with this belt. Cause, so you could do it like this. And I feel like long brown um, like uh, boots would be great. But also with the addition of this, like look at how, like I wish I had a, like a more like heavily inspired um, 70s belt, but this will do. I think it's cute. I think it gives me a lot of like, um, like it reminds me a lot of like Playboy Bunny, but like 70s or something. Um, okay. And then if I turn around, it's actually really short. But my sister was almost like, yeah, you should definitely get it. And I thought if I ever went out in it, hold on, to like make it more 70s, we're gonna style it with this jacket on. Look, like tell me, like I'm not bringing you back. And you're like bringing me back where and i'm like babe i'm bringing you back to a decade that like you wish that you lived in after you saw this outfit like tell me this isn't giving 
ultra 70s like also like my hair would be like different i guess um but yeah like this is it and i also again like with boots or something which i actually don't have boots right now like brown boots i mean i have cowgirl boots but i am kind of serving you know just the fact that i've been coming up with outfits on my own which is my other point too it's just like i just love fashion so much i really want to portray it onto my videos and in a way i'm kind of like grateful that i have this creativity that i'm feeling this is this outfit of mine what do you guys think i, I honestly i think it's like giving so serena maybe not with this or whatever like i'm playing it up that it looks a little bit more 70s than it looks serena but to me i'm just like guys like i feel like a house bunny but like 70s you know um and i love it you can kind of see like this kind of matches my skin tone and you know which is fine but i, I normally don't reach for colors like this which is also fine but you know it's good to have a somewhat of a diverse um like closet now that you've got your staples which i feel like i should do a whole video on like staples and stuff because it's not what you would think like it wouldn't be like a turtleneck and stuff because if that's not what you reach for then obviously on a day-to-day -day basis like that won't be your basic if that makes sense anyway i feel like it's so important to find like a basic color palette so that you know that those colors will always match not really like that piece of clothing item anyway so but now that i have like a, a few things like that i feel like this is like a fun thing by the way this is we're all from the thrift store like uh, like three bucks or so and um i don't know like normally i do like a pop of color but it's nice to like play around it always reminds me of like a sex in the city episode where she just like wore like you know she has like her style but then sometimes she plays around with other silhouettes or other different things that she that you might not feel comfortable in or that you might not see that main character wearing as often but you're like i kind of like this on her you know it's like good to like dabble which i like to do this in every aspect of my life i like to like dabble into other things like pink and white are my colors and stuff but it's so important to like dabble onto other things um and it kind of like challenges your mind you know or at least it does for me where it's just like okay like how could i style this and it it kind of I don't know like the other day i made like a scarf like i used a scarf into like a, a a top and like you can do that in so many different ways and again it's like so fun to play with silhouettes that you feel like look the best on you and what you feel is like the most comforting on you and etc etc anyway let's go on to the next outfit so this is a skirt that i got imagine if it was like a dress it'd be this tiny no this is a dress a skirt that i found at the like the same thrift store and I'm like, oh my god, I'm obsessed with it. So I purchased it, obviously, and I want to style it for you. How I did the other night when I went to a country bar. Let's do that. We we're just styling stuff together. So I purchased this, like, last year also from that same thrift store. I just kind of want to see what it looks like. So I tried to, like, recreate this somewhere else with, like, one time when I went to the pool with, like, a different skirt that I had, which was, like, a ballet skirt. And, um, like... It obviously was a ballet skirt, so I could only really go to the pool to it. I mean, you wouldn't take that to the pool, but I did because I make my own rules. But um, I was like, this is something like, even with like, I'm t I'm like, I can't really see the screen too well. But like, I'm seeing like a mustardy, like long boot. Unfortunately, I don't I don't have that. Like maybe not like super stark mustard, more of a like a neutral mustard boot. And it would still look 70s. Um, Obviously you can lose a bra. This is like a top that I was like, oh my God, it's, it's like so ugly, but cute in a disgusting, gross Lana Del Rey way, like vintage Lana Del Rey, like, I don't know. Lizzie Grant, let me try the other top. So this is how I styled it, which it kind of looks like a dress. Um, I said, keep or remove your bra if you'd like, I don't know. Um, this is a top by the way, because I will get asked, I feel like. Uh, that I received from Jay Ng a few well actually I received it in black and then I bought it in white I still have a discount code for that in case you guys want that um I'll leave it in the, the if I remember I'll leave it in the description but then I did this like I added did I already mention this belt was also from the thrift store like look at how this looks it's like ultra country I just fucking love it I just effing love it you guys um I don't know like it's just so cute i'm like i love playing around with silhouettes fashion and 
just trying to get creative and seeing what comes up to and like in my head. I'm gonna try one more thing. So I was about to leave my house and I don't think I'll wear this skirt. So I made this like makeshift top. Um, it didn't have the bows before, but I've been influenced by TikTok. So let me try this on. Oh, guys, what do we think? Is this not like giving like um? Wait, I don't know if I want it like long, like this. This is not bad. I don't know if I love the links on it. It's like so fun to play. Um, is this not giving like Americana like vibes? <laughs> this is totally giving Americana vibes. Um, but I also thought it would be so cute if this top I could somehow, um, okay, actually I just, I'm seeing that it's like kind of really jumbled right here. Um, dude, this is so funny. This is actually the silhouettes kind of reminding me of like, yes, a, a country belle. Is that what you say? I don't know. But it's also giving like, um, what's her, fa uh, Ariana Grande. Because of, um, I added these bows, right? Cause it's kind of boring without it. But like, I feel like it would also be cute if I got like a bobby pin, no. Like what are those things called? And then like doing that, like that you, you can use for your le leotard, which is where I un like got the idea where it'll make it like this. I mean, it's cute like this, but it like also would be cute if like, it's like a little cinched right here. Do you know what I'm talking about? Just like imagine you guys. Um, Sometimes I do like wearing red because I do feel like Red is like kind of my color. Just like ultra femme, I love it. And then the last thing that I'm gonna style for you guys, let's do that right now. We're gonna work with this as a base. So white pants, I should just wash them so they're looking a little bit whiter than normal, thank gosh. And then we are gonna kind of tuck this in. So this is a sweater, I've worn this sweater like so many times, but basically like, you can even do a white sweater actually, but I wanna show you what this looks like with this vest that I received. Sorry, not that I received, that I bought also at the thrift store. Let's look at the details, you guys. This was like three bucks, right? Um, the details in the pockets, the details in the pleating, the details in the ruching on the sides, which uh, a lot of the time some like cheaper vests don't have like this, so it, it kind of gives you like a boxy figure. Like for example, like this sweater is not the most flattering, like I wish it was like a little bit more shaped so because I already kind of have a little bit of a boxy uh, body and um, I found like what complements my body is so you can kind of see there's balance a little bit in my outfit because these are <laughs> a little larger okay like let's just take like some uh, points from my body uh, my my waist is a little bit boxier like it's not as like curved as a lot of most women I guess compared to my the other figures on my body i guess so and i do have this this is the double d around that size so what we need because there's volume on the, on the top to kind of create that silhouette of hourglass i guess to kind of make it more balanced basically from the bottom and the top if you want um i have cropped um these these pants are cropped so it kind of creates that shape naturally um and it's typically like nice to have something that will like kind of like cinch your waist in versus just being like a box, you know? It's just more flattering. Anyway, I do appreciate that this has that uh, that element of kind of cinching your waist in. And like, look at the details. Like there's a uh, diff different pleating here, here and here and there. So it kind of breaks up. It doesn't all just look like it's all going one way. It's got like different textural elements that make it interesting. Also, you know, the details here. I love the gold. And if you guys can, this is a purse that I wear a lot. Guys, I can go on and on and on. But this is a purse that I like to wear a lot. And like, look at how similar the colors are. So that is another thing that kind of ties everything together because it's like, oh, these are matching elements. It almost like looks like well thought out. And that's kind of what I was trying to say about like wearing, um, like pieces uh like finding like colors that you like so you can obviously do different color of everything but i like to stick with neutrals and like look how chic this looks like you guys this looks so chic like i'm literally <laughs> my cat's playing with all the clothes but um yeah i just feel like so bougie kind of i speak spanish you know my my family's from mexico 
and a lot of the the, the Mexicans that I because obviously there's different parts of the world but a lot of the Mexicans that I'm around wear like vests and it's kind of like this niche thing where a lot of like almost like tech bros like but not really like a lot of the fashion kind of gets inspired by some people's fashion gets inspired by like tech bros I guess or like preps and they wear like a lot of vests so it's just so funny because if you know then you know that like this is very like niche like very like Mexican if, if that makes sense but like that specific kind of Mexican um and it's just so funny like we call those people by the way like it, it, sometimes we call them like fresas or fresones este and that basically just means that they're kind of like kind of ish like there's no direct uh translation but it, it's hard to explain because i i looked it up on google and i'm like that doesn't exist but i love the look it's very clean i love it i love it i love it um it just kind of gives it i don't know it's like just some like element that makes it a little bit this outfit a little bit more interesting i need to step out to go uh, to the grocery store so i'm just gonna change back into that like red top that i made yeah I'm changing into this and I'm gonna have to step out shortly. Sometimes I just like add things and I'm like, does this look good? Whatever. Anyway, but I do have to step out shortly, so I just need to clean and then I'm gonna step out. And I think this is what I'm gonna wear going out. Um, I love to add this whenever I wear red. And um, I also have like this big oversized like black faux fur uh, so jacket that I got from, or I could, no, that, that won't give me more. Okay, um, but yeah. And I also just wanted to do a few little updates. I ended up filming everything on my phone, so I'm so sorry. But uh, you guys, I've just been living my life. I think I'm going to change the date that I publish my videos. Just because I feel like I'm not so certain about Mondays. I'm really just, I feel like I'm just like trying to live it up. And I am trying to say this in my videos too. Um, where I just feel, we're still doing ballet content for sure. Don't, don't you guys worry. But, um whoops but i'm also just like you guys like i don't know i think i want to do it sometime in the week because i like to do things on the weekends of course um but i also just want to give you guys updates about like how i'm doing um in general and um yeah i don't know i just i've just been like so in the moment like i'm always like something changed where i feel like i went from being an introvert like all my life to an extrovert as I turn 26, like literally in the month of like November. Like, and I'm on this high and I don't know if you guys have been keeping up with my story, but I was just on such a low, like uh, before it because of, you know, things that I've dealt with in my life. And I'm just like, I'm feeling so happy and bliss. And like, I just, every day I remember, and it's so important for me to remember that like life is so freaking short. like. Anything could happen at any time. You never know when it'll be your last. And sometimes I feel like when you're kind of younger, it's like easy to push off, but like things happen, you know? So sometimes not everything happens when you're younger, but as you get older, you just experience a little bit more life. Like I'm trying to be kind of vague, but I know that this would resonate with some people. And like, we all go through things, especially as we get older, just because, you know, we know people, people die around us. We might die. I don't know. <laughs> I know that sounds like so doom and gloomy but it's something that I constantly like try to remind myself and it's just like it's so fun to just like play around and be present and just like yes like things are so stressful at times but at the same time it's just like but that doesn't always have to be what your life is like if it's uh, right now if you don't like the patterns and the habits of your life right now remember that you could always change it that's what I try to like do whenever I'm promoting like ballet and stuff and it's not because i'm like so gung-ho about ballet like i love trying out different things but it's just because i love adventure and trying new things and everything like that so i'm sorry for this like long long rant and it's supposed to be inspirational um remember that you should play with this meat suit that you wear because we are not really like we're really here temporarily and um just a, just a, it's just a reminder you guys and i i have said in previous videos that i really want to take other classes that i feel like are gonna be fun and um 
yeah, I, I, I will do more in-depth videos about like where my mind's at and stuff like that in upcoming vlogs. Um, but I will see you guys super duper soon. Um, thank you so much for watching and um, talk to you guys next week. Not sure what the date is yet, but you'll know.